Welcome to a video where I shall rank characters in a specific genre and piss off people across the globe because it does not match up with their opinion and therefore believe I should be incarcerated. Today's video, I know for an absolute fact, is going to cause quite the commotion and potentially get my ass some well-deserved hate mail. For today, I shall be ranking what I personally believe to be the 5 worst characters in the entire game out of a potential of 121 candidates who will receive the crown of shit, let's get started. In 5th place. We have the Park Ranger. Park Ranger only manages to be the 5th worst character, for whilst he does rely heavily on his spore cloud damage, out of the 3 variants based on this mechanic, he easily gets the highest amount of damage out of all of them, so in optimum circumstances, he can actually deal quite a lot of damage in. However, outside of those circumstances, his damage output is rather mediocre against moving targets, but he can still kill people relatively quickly, along with having the kit of a soldier which allows him to still secure kills on his own. In 4th place. We have the electrician. Electrician I consider to be one of the worst, primarily due to a number of factors that are weighted heavily against him. His weak chain lightning damage, his pitiful splash damage, and especially his reload duration. I mean, holy fucking shit. Having to spend 3 entire seconds on reloading a clip is honestly painful, and getting caught reloading mid fight is honestly the worst thing that can happen to you. What prevents him from going any lower is his kit that allows him to stun enemies to securely kill and bolt blaster to easily secure kills on his own. In third place. We have the Toxic Citron. Easily the worst cloud variant out of the three. The Toxic Citron's damage output, regardless of if they're moving or standing still, is rather piss poor. And at best, you're going to net more assists than actual kills, due to how piss poor his damage output is. Honestly, I would have more than gladly placed him at the very bottom, if it wasn't for the fact that he's a Citron. So he still has access to the likes of EMP and Mood Shield, along with having a lot of health and mobility, which allows allows him to escape the complete bottom. In second place. We have the Armor Chomper, what many would consider to be the worst character in the game. Whilst I think he's around the bottom, he is certainly not the worst. Despite Hello, everything that is against alert. him, from his slow speed, to his harsh range handicap, to his slow attack speed making misses punishing, it always heavily against him. The two things saving him from the bottom position however, is purely the existence of goop, which makes reaching targets infinitely easier, which also ties into his other saving grace, of being very good at dealing with with Z-Max, especially if he can get the jump on them first. And in first place, the absolute bottom of the fucking barrel. We have this piece of shit right here. Party Rose I cannot fucking stand in the slightest. Like, her damage is poor, her health is poor, her kit is fucking shit outside of one ability, and that can't save you every time. Yeah you have party time, but Rose had fuck all damage to begin with, and now you have a variant that not only does even fucking less, but has less ammo to begin with. Like it takes you a two and a half seconds just to kill a fucking scientist. Like, that's actually so pathetic. You can consider your yourself lucky if you manage to get party time with this heap of shit, and I applaud anyone who's manages to master this fucking shit stain of a character. Be sure to come back for the next episode in 2 weeks. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more shit like this. Have fun.